All right, good morning. Boy, you looking kind of dark in this thing. <laughs> Let's see if I can spin it around. Get some better light. There goes some better lighting right there. All right. So, today we're going to go look at the front yard. I put some garden beds in the front yard, some no-dig garden beds. I placed cardboard down first, and then I put topsoil with compost and all those things down. And I had got a delivery of um, wood chips from like the, there was a wood chip company. You literally, they're like from trees that got chopped down in the neighborhood. The only problem is that they don't tell you how much is coming. So clearly I'm an idiot. And uh, I got like 20 yards of wood chips brought to my house and dumped in my front yard. I spread it all over the backyard and the garden in the backyard. I put some in the garden in the front yard. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I got this front yard, the wood chips down on the ground and um, I got the beds laid out. I even planted some plants in there that probably won't come to full maturity. Some of them will, like the kale and um, you know, some of the lettuce that I planted, they'll probably come all the way up. But the things that I don't, that really need to head, like cabbage and stuff, I don't know if we got enough time, but it couldn't hurt putting them in the ground and just seeing. So that's what I plan on doing. Also, I gotta make breakfast for the kids. I just got back from my walk, so I might even make the pancakes with you guys and um you know do some chilling i haven't made a video in a minute i decided that i'm gonna stop doing like too much editing there's gonna be some mistakes and the reality is that i fumble over my words sometimes let's get it together you know so um and we'll go from there so just rock with me all right and uh let me go get the stuff to make these pancakes some blueberry pancakes i think that's leah and charlotte's favorite well, they would prefer chocolate chips but we ain't doing no chocolate chips crack a dawn in the morning, you know? We're gonna be doing something a little bit more healthy. Charlotte, Charlotte, come here. Oh, what's the problem? Something I don't wanna share. What, you what? <laughs> you gotta get that hair done, huh? No. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. Well, I was just telling the people on YouTube we're going to make some pancakes. Mm. What's your favorite? Probably like chocolate, chocolate chips. chips. Yeah, of course. And, and then put Nutella on it, I remember. And Nutella on it. Time. One time. This girl got a sweet tooth. Yeah, but um, so we'll get after it and we'll do some of that. And then I'll take you guys out to the garden so you can see um, the progress. Yo, it's a front yard garden, right? Yeah. What do you think about it? I think it's good so far. You think it's good so far? You think it look a little nuts? Yeah. Yeah? With those piles of dirt, people are walk, <laughs> driving past and they're like, mm, what the heck happened here? <laughs> Landfill? <laughs> Landfill? What are you talking about? Landfill is trash. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 oh, there's something wrong with you. All right. All right. All right. So, so what we got here, Charlotte? Before collection. we eat breakfast, she wanted to uh, show you guys her collection of ducks. Her collection of ducks. Let's see it. Let's see. So, the first one is Anna. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marshmallow. Okay. Uh, we'll do one last. Um, Mr. Sparkle Pants. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Um, so, uh, what was that? Splat. <laughs> Splat? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, what did I name him? Um, Fluff Stuff. I don't know what. Fluff Stuff? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Orange and Blueberry. Hmm. Mm. Blue stars. I don't know. Okay, that's very <laughs> simple. Uh, cho um, chocolate strawberry. Mm -hmm. Chocolate covered strawberry. Cotton candy. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm naming them all desserts. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> Other than Anna. <laughs> okay, everything else is food. Marshmallows and blueberries. Yeah, and, and these are my two new ones. I have to give them names. Okay, maybe you guys can give her some suggestions on the names. You want some suggestions? Uh, sure. All Hold right. on. Let's just put them up there. All right. 
This one? All right. <laughs> this all right, one? All right, all right, all right. So she wanted to just show you guys her, her, um, my herd, her herd of ducks before I started making a breakfast. So, and we can get some suggestions on, I don't know what, oh, it's backwards on this one. <laughs> and on which one? And, and that one. one. All right. All right. This Chuck. one is actually my favorite one. And so is this one because they're both glittery. Oh, okay. I don't know why. All right. So take that upstairs. All right. Yes. Say bye. Bye. And, and what do you want to tell them? Uh, Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thank All right. You. Please, if you can, donate some ducks. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Donate the Ducks, guys. <laughs> All right. All right. Donate the ducks. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's the camera. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. What's up? Hi, <laughs> Yeah. That's I haven't up. seen you for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm making these pancakes. The pancakes call for a half a cup of butter melted. So that's what I'm doing. I'm melting this half a cup of butter real quick. I'm actually doubling the recipe because one thing I do is I um I double the recipe and then I freeze the rest of them so during the week when the kids are like going to school, I don't have to wake up frantically trying to figure out and find something for them to to eat so they just know that there's going to be frozen pancakes in there um i'm going to actually make some some frozen uh french toast sticks with the, the hollow bread and then i make a few uh waffles so they have like three options in the morning that normally lasts me like two weeks after doing it because they also got like cereal and oatmeal and stuff like that that they can ha eat so if you like one of those parents which i'm really not but because I wake up at 4 o'clock every morning. But if you are one of the parents who get up and you're like running around trying to, uh, you know, get breakfast together, the kids is late, doing hair, yo, pre-make your breakfast. It makes your life a lot easier. A lot, lot easier. And especially, I got a 13-year-old. She do everything on her own. I don't really need to uh, do anything beside to wake her up because she will sleep through anything. But my younger daughter, she gets up on time, but she needs something that's kind of pre you know done so that she can just throw it in the toaster oven or throw it in the microwave or something like that so but yeah half a stick of butter throw that in here real quick and then um then we got a bowl here let me see if i can switch the camera around so you guys can see what i'm doing hold on so yeah we got the bowl here we're gonna put in the bowl I'm gonna post a recipe on, on the thing, guys. We're gonna put um, pretty much one and three fourths cups of uh, milk. So I'll just use this to measure. So this is two cups. Yeah, right? Two, six, cup. So it's the whole jar. I'm also trying not to uh, use so many dishes and stuff because I don't feel like washing dishes anymore. I want to be able to get right outside and get into the garden. All right, so wait for the camera to adjust. It'll adjust. All right, let's see. There we go. We got the half a cup of butter. We just pour it into here. Let's turn this camera down a little bit and see if we can get what I'm doing here. Yeah, here we go. So here go a half a cup of butter we need I'm using buttermilk we'll take that price tag off of here but I'm using buttermilk it calls for one and three fourths cups so I'm doing double so just estimate whatever that is going to be what is that? that's two three and a half cups so, here you go two Another one and a half. I'm low on buttermilk, so what I'll do is just use regular milk. And I do what you got to do. Yo, I done ran out of uh, ran out of it and used French vanilla creamer before, so it is what it is. Whatever you gotta do to get to get it done. So here we go with that. 
Then I'm gonna come over here and grab some vanilla. Well, let me grab everything. I'm gonna grab some salt. Some vanilla. And I'm just looking for the bacon powder. All right, so we got this here. I got the vanilla. I don't know, it's probably a few tablespoons. I'll just pour some in there. You know, let me look at this recipe real quick. Like I said, it's really quick. The, putting it all together, it calls for um, a half a cup of sugar. This is a half a cup scoop, so I'm just going to use this. Dump a, a half a cup in there. Put that back. Alright, so a half a cup of sugar. What else do we need here, Charlotte? Chocolate chip? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we need a half a cup of sugar. We need two eggs. Let's crack some eggs and throw them in here. And I keep the eggs and throw it into my compost. So that's why I throw them back in the cart like that. We got the butter, we got the milk, salt. We need a half a teaspoon. So we're doing it a double recipe. So we're gonna put a whole teaspoon in here. Right, and um, I use I don't know if you guys can see this, but I use half uh, half sodium. Your boy gotta make sure his blood pressure is in check. I'm trying to trying to live, trying to be around. Um, so we did the salt, and now we need bacon. Oh, bacon soda. We need a half, and bacon powder, we're gonna need eight teaspoons. So, we're gonna do eight of these. One, oh, I should put in the flour. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, again, you normally keep the, the um, dry with the dry and the liquid with the liquid but i messed up it is what it is um and then we're gonna do so yep we just go down the list make sure we got everything we got the sugar we got the bacon powder we need bacon soda which is going to be a whole teaspoon of bacon soda Fine. I'm gonna add it all in together. Get this joker a mix. Got a little one. Wanna make it the big one? Hmm? No, this is good. It's alright. You know what you can do for me? You can start putting this stuff away for me. So put that back in the in the um, dry cabinet right there. Take the eggs and put them in the refrigerator. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna mix it up real quick. Alright. So put that in the fridge for me, babe. Thank you. Yo, and that's the batter. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit more, but that's pretty much it, right Chuck? Yeah. It looks a little thick because I use buttercream. I mean buttercream. Buttermilk. But um if it, if it ever make looks, it fluffier? Huh? It'll make it fluffy, but if it ever looks too thick, you can just add a little bit of water. It won't it won't go crazy. So I add a little bit of water to loosen it up some. I use this flat grill. Really nice surface. That's a grill? Yeah, so it's a griddle. Oh. So, but I can fit a lot in it. And when you do it in a pan sometimes, the pan, uh, you gotta, it's hard to get the, what you call it, around the edges. Get the, um. Easy. Yeah, so you gotta move it. 
ding, 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 ding. What are you doing? I can hear it. You're crazy. I'm not really doing it. Don't, but I, I can hear the sound on the thing right there. You better cut You're that out. butter in? Yeah, I put butter for flavor. Mm -hmm. Alright, put it on the stick then. Then I get a... Then I get a scoop. Because I want all of it uniform. Mm -hmm. So, I want it all the same, right? We're going to scoop these pancakes out. Some fresh blueberries. Yes. You're making them wide? Hmm? You're making them wide? Just not like one little scoop like that? No, I'm making them so they, they cook even more. Yeah. Good morning to my oldest beautiful daughter. She just walked out of the room, Diva. She don't want to ever be on this camera, so you'll never see her, but can they hear you? Yeah. Can you say good morning? Good morning. Okay, all right. Y'all got a lot more than what other people get. Just know that. Y'all should feel, y'all should feel very, they should feel privileged, right, Lee? All right, stuff. <laughs> so I like being on the camera. Hello. Yeah, they know, I think they know that by now. I'm good with being on camera. I'm always good. All right, Chuck. Oh, You're dragging it. <laughs> Why are the little pieces that like drop, like moving and bubbling? Mm -hmm. Why are the Look at that golden brown, Chuck. Yeah. Your favorite, right? Mm-hmm. Always gotta add a little butter to this. Yay. Uh oh. It always gets golden brown. Yo, it looks so good, right? It How do it smell? Good. How do it smell? All right, so these are pancakes. I'm gonna put the recipe down in the description for you guys, so um, you know exactly what I put in here to make it. Yo, these pancakes are fire. Um, they taste mad good. Yo, you can use buttermilk or you can use regular milk. I prefer buttermilk. Uh, it just tastes better to me. But um, you can use any any one that you want. You know, and um, like I said, you can use um, blueberries, you can use chocolate chips, you can use whatever you want to put in there. Sometimes, you know, you can put um, cinnamon in there with raisins, and it's just a pretty much a basic pancake recipe, but it's always good to make something from scratch for your kids, and they sit down and enjoy it with you. And... Okay, so the pancakes are done. The chips are done. See the bottom. Oh, that looks mad good. Look at that. Just making a few plain ones. They said they don't want all of them blueberry. They said they want some plain. So I'm making a few plain ones. But I'm telling you guys, yo, this saves you. This literally saves you so much time. These pancakes being made already. It's just like when you go to the frozen section and they have um, the waffle sticks. I mean, not the waffle sticks. <laughs> the French toast sticks. Which, you, yo, those used to be my favorite thing. Because, you know, if anybody knows me out there and knew I grew up in, um, I grew up in Amityville. But I live right down the street from Burger King. And Burger King got the most fire um, French toast sticks. We would wake up in the morning and Burger King is slick. They be uh, putting the smell out into the neighborhood. <laughs> you wake up in the morning, you be smelling Whopper Juniors and, but yo, I'm telling you, I used to always go over to Burger King and get um, the French toast sticks. So I just figured a way out to make them myself. Burger King? Yeah, Burger King. Burger I lived right down the street from Burger King when I was growing up. Right down the street. But fast food places don't have good breakfasts. Huh? Fast food places don't have good breakfasts? IHOP does. Especially, that's not well, a fast it's food a, place. Yeah, that's a restaurant, so. But, um, nah, you know what the thing is? The thing is, um, it's quick and convenient. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm gonna tell y'all, it used to be this thing called Freshman Friday. You know, is it still Freshman Fridays? No. No? I'm not even in high school yet. Oh, oh yeah. Well, when you get there. 
but um, it was freshman Fridays, and they were used to beat up all the freshmen when they came to school That's on so Friday. Fun. What? Yo, it wasn't, it wasn't fun. First of all, I didn't have to worry about it. Why? Because I had a big brother, and he was not to be played with. So, um, yeah. no, Uncle Gary. Oh wait, you're on the same age. Yeah, yeah, but and it, and it was two of us, but. Um, Yo, okay. they had chase you over the bridge because we had to go over a bridge to everybody, get to school. Every freshman? Every freshman. It, it, it was free Each game. Why? Everybody? Huh? That's well, terrible. Not, what? That's terrible. It's like you why? Why are they doing that What What was Friday? What was fun? What was fun for you? You were getting chased around as a freshman. What was fun for you? Huh? What was fun for you? Yo, you, it was just that one Friday of school when school first started. Oh, it was one Friday? It was one Friday. Okay. And, if you were, and if you were smart, and if you were smart, you would have your mom come pick you up. But my mom was not coming up there to pick me up. She's like, I'm at work. You better not call me. If you call me, you're getting in trouble. So, but nah, those were the good old days. Yo, man. I forgot. My daughter Leah said that I have to, I got to taste it for you guys and let you guys know what it tastes like. If it's, if it's fire or not. So, um, the craziest thing about when people do that is, I'm like, yo, how do you really know if it's fire? Somebody could be lying. They could be just saying anything. They could just be yeah, wanting you to follow you it. You could be saying it. I, yeah, I could, but I'm not going to. If I don't think it's good, I'm going to tell the truth. I guess that's what they say too, right? <laughs> yeah. I guess, but let me see. Let me taste it. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Yo, yo. <laughs> it looks like a baby. Yo. <laughs> yo. Yeah. Show it how close. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, but it is. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. It is. Huh? It is. Rated out of 10? Yeah, for real. For real? Yeah. First of all, pancakes is not my favorite breakfast item. Yeah. So that take points off right off the rip. Yeah. But um, if I had to rate it out of 10, I would rate it um, a 8.5. All right, that's not bad. Right? That's not bad. <gasps> you know? So. People who love pancakes, come over here. Mm -hmm. Over now. Yeah. Don't invite him over here though, because I can't make them in here. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the dirt hill. This is Charlotte on top of the rest of the mulch that we have here. Okay. With my shoes on. <laughs> Something's wrong with her. But um, yeah, so these are the four garden beds. We're gonna pretty much only plant flowers out here next year. But for now, you know, we got like another month, a month and a half until last frost. So I just wanted to put something out here. If it don't grow, it don't grow. What is it like $15 in seeds? It'll be all but right. Yeah, so, so here go the four garden beds that I have that I'm gonna make and put down in the front yard next year. These are gonna all be um, pretty much like a cut flower garden in the front. But then, I don't know if you can look up here, I have to take this tree down. This tree is gonna come down next year because it's really not giving me enough full sun. So maybe I'll try to trim it, and if I can't trim it enough to get enough sunlight up here, I'll just take the whole tree down. But yeah, so here's the front yard garden. All right, so. Y'all, I just want to thank you guys for coming along with me this morning and making breakfast with the kids. And I showed you guys what I got going on in the front yard. That's just the beginning of the front yard. There's going to be a lot more things to doctor it up and make it look a lot more, uh, a lot better. So I'm excited. I'm excited for the end of this year, and I'm definitely excited for next year. I appreciate you guys. Uh, definitely like and subscribe, please. It will go a long way for the channel. All right, peace.